Hello, how do you solve this complex exponential problem? We have negative 7 to the power of t equals 7. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. We are making use of two different methods. Now, let's start with the first one here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to replace this negative 7 with of negative 7 equals negative 1 times 7. So this simply means we have negative 1 times 7 raised to the power of t and this equals 7. So from here, I can decide to distribute this. Remember, if I have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So what I'm going to have will be negative 1 power t times 7 power t and this equals 7. Now at this point, I consider this Euler's identity. If I have e to the power of i times pi plus 1, this equals 0. This is the Euler's identity that you must take into consideration. Now there's negative 1 here. I can decide to make this or to move this over here and isolate this e power i times pi. So when once I do that, I'm going to have e power i times pi equals negative 1. That means negative 1 equals e power i times pi. So I will fix that here. So I'm going to have, instead of writing negative 1, I'm going to replace it with negative e power i times pi. So I'm going to have e power i times pi, instead of writing negative 1 here, this is raised to the power of t times 7 raised to the power of t equals 7. So at this point, we apply this index law, a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So I multiply this exponent out. I'm just going to have e power i times pi t times 7 power t equals 7. So from here, what I'm going to do will be to apply natural log. I have natural log of e power i times pi times t times 7 power t equals natural log of 7. So at this particular point, I can apply this locating property if I have natural log of a times b. This equals natural log of A plus natural log of B. So I apply the same identity here. This is my A. This is my B. So I'm going to have natural log of E power I times pi T plus natural log of 7 power T equals natural log of 7. So at this point, Remember, if I have natural log of a to the power of b, this equals b times natural log of a. So I apply the same thing here and here. That means I'm going to have i times pi t times natural log of e. This is e. Then plus t times natural log of 7. We apply the same property here. The t will come behind the natural log equals natural log of 7. So what you should know is that the natural log will easily cancel e. I will give you 1. This is i times pi t times 1. Because this gives you 1. Plus this will give you t times natural log of 7. And this equals natural log of 7. Now from here, if you multiply this out, you have i times pi t plus t times natural log of 7 equals natural log of 7. So there's t here, there's t here. I can factor out the t. I have t times, divide this by t. I have i times pi plus, divide this by t. I have natural log of 7 equals natural log of 7. Now, I want to isolate t. I divide this by 
i times pi plus natural log of 7. I divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 7. So, this eliminate this. What I'm going to have will be t equals natural log of 7 divided by i times pi plus natural log of 7. So, this is one of the solutions using this particular approach. Now, the next thing will be to solve for the other solution using a different approach. So, let's copy out the question. I'm going to have this is negative 7 power t equals 7. So, what I'm going to do this time around, I will still make use of the same trick. Still writing negative 7, I have negative 1 times 7. So, I'm going to have this is negative 1 times 7 raised to the power of t equals 7. So, from here, what I'm going to do will be to consider this complex trick or identity. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals i. If I raise this to the power of 2, I raise this to the power of 2. This cancels this. That means I have negative 1 equals i power 2. So, this is negative 1. I'm going to replace it with i power 2. That means I'm going to have this is i power 2 instead of writing this negative 1 times 7 raised to the power of t equals 7. So from here, I can make use of log. I have log of i power 2 times 7 raised to the power of t equals log 7. Now, we apply the same logarithm property. Log a times b equals log a plus log b. And also, log a to the power of b equals b times log a. So, we apply this first. That means the t will come behind this. So what we are going to have will simply be t times log i squared times 7 equals log 7. Then we can then apply this other property right here. That means I'm going to have t times log i squared because t is common plus log 7 equals log 7. Then I can then apply this property here again. The 2 will come behind the log. So I'm going to have t times this is 2 log of i plus log 7 equals log 7. So since I'm solving for t, I want to isolate this. I divide this by 2 log i plus log 7. And I also divide this by 2 log i plus log 7. So this, eliminate this. I'm going to have t equals log 7 divided by 2 log i plus log 7. So this is it. Another solution, this time we are using log, and this other solution we are using natural log. So any of the solutions that you want, you can apply any of the methods. They are all definitely correct. So that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you and goodbye.